Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another gameplay video. Today once again we are going to play Project IGI 1 and the mission if you haven't guessed it is the mission number 3 that is military airbase. So guys without any delay let's get this started. So, Mission 3, Military Air Base, let's begin. That's another successful operation under my belt. Okay, Anya, tell me where Joseph is and I'll bring him out. Uh, is there any news on the backup? Surely you don't need anyone else's help. Your backup has just touched down in the capital. They're currently en route to you as we speak. They should be with you in about three hours. Just in time to clear up. We've opened up the air corridor for Yosef's extraction. The task now is to find Yosef Preboy and bring him out for debriefing. Your objectives are threefold. Infiltrate the installation without overly raising suspicion. Locate and free Yosef Preboy. Our agents have been on surveillance for the last 20 hours. They took this footage. I believe Yosef to be held in this building. He should be held in the basement. Once you have Yosef in custody, escort him back to the FRV for chopper dust off. So guys, that's our chopper. We are landing. Okay guys, so our mission over here is to rescue this person called Joseph Prevoy from this military airbase. Let's begin this and in the front I can see a radar dome. If I remember correctly, there are two people in there. Now I can just go from the front and shoot them right in but I would like to take the element of surprise till the last moment so I'll go from the back I'll use the Glock and the first target is dead now there's a person inside this uh, where is he? I cannot see him on any I cannot see him on any side so let's get in there's the guy. Okay. Okay. Where are you going? No. We are kind of playing hide and seek with this guy. Where is he? Where did he go? Okay, so he's coming here. And there he's standing. And that's it. Okay, so the second guy is down. Since I don't have any AK-47 ammo, I'll climb up and quickly get his ammo. What just happened? I fell down again. Anyways, so I'm up. I'll just quickly take the armor from his gun and we'll go down to the next phase of the mission. Okay, guys, so there are two places in this whole area. One is to the left of my soldier currently, and there is one in front of us. So for the ease of this mission and to complete it in proper order we should go first to the area in front of us and then later proceed to the part which was on the left side of me and guys uh, if you ever come to this place don't fall down from here because it decreases our health it's like one anomaly in the game where the earth sometimes it's not matched and if you fall from there you lose health so anyways, I'll be taking my MP5, it has a zoom in feature, so I'll just scope in, there's the first guy, and that was a clean shot. And proceeding further, there's this another dude, he is dead too, there are two more over here. The first one is standing here, okay, I, I hope the guy in the boot didn't notice. And he didn't, so there he goes. Okay, so I'll reload my gun, take the ammo from their guns, climb over here. Now I'll just open this gate so it becomes easier for us when we are coming out of this area. And we have to go in from this gate and we have to hack this thing, yeah. And going in. Now we'll shift to the big gun that is the AK 47. That was neat, right through the glass of the truck. There. 
Wait, this guy is dead too. We didn't even use one entire cartridge of the gun. And we downed both of them. Anyway, so now climbing up this ladder. I know, in my previous gameplays also I have many a times mentioned the ladders as stairs. I'll take care of that mistake. Anyway, so we have to come out from this place. There is the tower and on the tower is a guy with the dragon off. And another guy should be patrolling the area on the ground. Okay, that guy on the tower just saw me and I don't want to get hit by any dragon off bullet because that's one of the one of the ammo which causes very very high damage to us in this game. Okay, he's coming out. Okay, he still is shooting us. So we'll just uh, try this way. We'll just rush out. Okay, this clearly didn't work. This clearly didn't work. We are lucky enough that I did not lose any life. Anyways, this guy is down. Now we'll see what we can do. We'll just rush out. I'll just rush out and he shot me once. I'll take cover behind this air vent thing. And I'm out of the sight of the person on the tower. So he won't be shooting me anymore. Anyways guys, there's another person up. And he again saw me. Okay, he's a sniper too. We have to down him quickly. And the MP5 with his small scope was useful to kill him. Anyways, now we have to climb tower and we will use the same technique as we have done in the previous missions. That is to use the Glock. Climbing on tower. Let's just hope he doesn't know that we are climbing. And guys, as you can see, he does not know that we are there. In fact, he just started circling the tower. And one clean headshot will do the trick. That was a clean headshot. Anyways, there's, there's another person down there. And he saw us, but no problem. And I just made a long distance click with... Long distance shoot with a pistol. So, that's a good thing. Anyways, guys, now we have the dragon off. And I know we should not kill anyone in front of the camera because it triggers the alarm. But here, we just specifically have to do that because there are some red beret soldiers who are more dangerous and they don't come out from their hiding places unless the alarm is triggered now it's way easier to lure them out and then kill them rather than wait for them to come out anywhere anytime and cause us some damage so we'll just shoot the first guy he's a red beret soldier and he has a spaz the second person i think he has a uzi this is a normal soldier, this is another red beret, and another one. There is, again, we'll see the targets. Okay, so there are two normal soldiers, let's kill them too. There you go. And the second person, he's dead too. Now there is two more people who concern us over here. This guy is dead. And there's one on this uh, tower or what do you, you call it anyways so this guy is dead too now there is another person patrolling here but i don't think i have ammo left in my dragon off anyways i don't think he is any threat to us so we'll just climb down this tower and why am i walking slowly i don't know guys why the movement of my soldier just became slow which key did I press? I don't actually remember which key is there for the walk and run thing. Okay, cap, no, caps. Okay, wait, let's figure it out. Anyways, yes, now he started running. So, anyways, now. There's another guy here, probably somewhere behind these two warehouses and to track him down we are going to use our map computer. That's a good way to do that. Anyway, so I pull out my map computer, zoom in and guys as you can see this red target is walking out there. I think he will come out from the gap in between the two warehouses and that's when we will kill him off. Right in his face. And guys, he's coming out, so I'll just get prepared. My aim is right there, all you need to do, and he's dead. Just came out, and we killed him off. 
Yes, yes, yes. Another I think sniper up here. We'll use the MP5 to finish him off discreetly. Uh, let me take my aim and he's dead. That was easy. I'll just collect his gun and proceed. I don't think there is anything in the warehouse. Even if there is, I don't think it would concern us for this mission. There are no guards over here right now, so we'll just go ahead and enter this building and as we just kill two snipers, I'm hoping to find a lot of ammo for the dragon off. We have enter this left and we'll go up. Yes, going up we'll quickly collect the ammo from these two people. Yes. It was dragon of ammo. Uh, there is no one who we can snipe right now, so it's no use. Still, we'll collect them just in case they come handy. And another cartridge of dragon of ammo. Again, no one here, so currently the ammo is no use. We'll again, go down and proceed. Wow, I left the door open. Yes, guys, so we have come out of this building and our next aim is to enter the building on our right. There is a guy over here, we will just kill him off later on when we come out. Our aim is this building, we have to get in and probably get Joseph Free Boy out. Let's hope there are no one here. I probably sniped most of them. So it shouldn't be a problem. I take up this Uzi. It's a handy gun. And there, I don't think. Okay, there is someone, and we just get him off. He's dead. I am expecting one more person to come out. Probably. Probably. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay. There were two people. Even one red beret. Anyways, so we have killed both of them and taken their guns. Now we probably have to go down to the basement where they have the prison cells and save free boy. That is if he is there. So we open the door and I'm using the shotgun. That's what I like about the shotgun. How the enemy, you know, flies a couple of meters in the front after receiving the bullet. Anyway, so in the medic center we had medipack. However guys, there's a plot twist over here that Joseph is not here in the prison. It's weird cause we were doing all of this right now to save him and he's not here. Anyway, so Anya says that they cannot have extracted him out by road because apparently our soldiers have an eye on the road so they must have taken him out by air. So our next mission is to go to the second part of this base and over here we have to enter this tower. I'll zoom in on you. I'll zoom in for you guys to see. This tower, there they have the air flight log from where we can know where they took Preboy, in which aircraft, with whom, all that details. So we can track him down. Anyway, so our work over here is pretty much done and we'll proceed to the other part of the base. Okay, so there's this guy. We have to finish him off now. That would kill him. And guys, in this bunker there are two people. Don't, don't walk out in front without doing off with them because otherwise you are going to have some serious damage. The first guy is dead, there's another guy, let's kill him too. Okay, okay. Well, that's the first instance when the enemy has not died even by a shotgun bullet. Okay, anyways, another guy has seen me and he's coming out. No problem. That was a comparatively longer distant kill from a shotgun. But we did it. Anyways, proceeding further. So 
so guys we have to go to this shadow of a tower and if you remember we picked up two complete dragon of cartridges from those two snipers who we killed and it is going to come really really handy right now because all those enemies who are here they won't even know what got them so let's get to sniping there are two visible targets currently this guy is dead the person in the booth finish him off too and the camera has seen us once again guys it is necessary for the camera to see us or to see the dead bodies at least so that the red berets will just come out once again we don't want them to surprise us so we'll just finish them off while we can easily and as you can see these two people are coming out and the first one of them is dead so is the second one okay there is the third one too okay all of them are dead i think you just come out here a little bit to the side and there's another person he is dead too now okay he's dead so now there is another person okay how many of them are wow that was a clean shot through the glass I just reload the dragon off. I think we don't have any more sniping work over here. Or uh, for second thoughts, I'll take out my dragon off and you know destroy the cameras, just in case. This one is down, and so is this one. Anyways, finally I'll work with the dragon off this time. I hope so. Yes, guys, so we will take out the Uzi right now so that we can use the Uzi in this mission too. It's a handy gun for close quarter. Pick up this shotgun, just I don't know why. There's another Uzi, and we go again in this booth. And there's another medipack over here. Okay, guys, so we'll just open this door. And remembering that, I remembered we have medipack, we haven't yet used it good because this mission is kind of easy although it's long it's easy and there was this guy over here we killed him and we are proceeding further okay going in there is no one here no one here as well wait wait where did this guy come from anyways there is a guy as you can see in the front just at the base of the tower and I couldn't kill him so we'll just face it. You wanna kill me? You wanna kill me dude? Seriously. Anyways, we'll take the elevator ride to the top floor and I think the mission is almost done. And there is one target over here. That was a quick kill. We'll just reload our gun for the second target who will come down right now. And he's dead too. Anyways, here is the computer. We'll just extract the flight coordinates which we need. And we can call it a end of the mission now. Okay, Anya got what, we, uh, what she needed, the flight records, but I had to do this entire mission for a screen guy who wasn't here so I'm thinking I'll just do these people a lot of damage. Break some of their glasses, maybe destroy their computers. Okay, this is the fun part, you really don't need to do this. Anyways, we'll go down to continue the mission. Guys, if I am correct, Everyone on this base is dead and our mission is almost over. All we need to do is just get out of this place now. So let's proceed with that. Once again, let's blow up these computers and the glass. Maybe their vending machine. maybe even this computer 
Anyways, enough with the fun part. Let's proceed. I'll just use the medipack to refill my life. Although I don't need it, but still. Guys, our health is full. All we need to do is get in that jet, the one you can see in front, and get out of this place. So guys, we have to get in this jet and fly out of this place now. And guys, that brings us to the end of this mission. Uh, it's good to know that Jones can even fly a jet. Here goes our jet. And soon this mission is going to be over. So the mission is over now. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of today's video. If you like today's video, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel because well, it motivates me to continue with the gameplays and just like that, share this video with your friends with other enthusiasts of IGI and I see you next week with the mission 4. Till then, goodbye, enjoy.